yeah, it looks like I just woke up, but I didn't, um, and, uh, I am in my bed, but I'm still really excited, um, hello, everybody, whoa, we got ever. this is great, there's so many people here, what's going on? Hello. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in Malcolm right here. Here. Um. Well, first I just want to say thanks for everyone for coming out um to the live. We're just gonna talk um about our release um and uh, yeah. I mean we, we if no one. If anyone in the in the audience uh, doesn't know why I'm go- we're going live, we released a, a record with Ohm, double sided. Two songs are ours, two songs are theirs. Um, so we're really really excited, and that just came that just came out. Um, so that the links in our bio, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, try to bring in Malcolm here. Let's see. Send an invite. Request sent. Maybe we will answer some questions too. Good morning. Hello? Connecting. Hello? <laughs> Is this working? Room tour. Uh, here. Can I switch it? Oh, it's connecting. Hi. Oh, here we go. This is one corner of my room. It's just Hello. instruments. And we got some stuff over here. I is but is, enough about the room. I, I don't see Finn. Enough about right the now. room. But um, I'm trying to bring Malcolm in right now. You know. Hopefully he can connect soon. But he will not. Oh, weird. Everyone can hear Malcolm, but I couldn't hear him. Oh, hey. Is it working now? Yeah, now it's working. That was so weird. Yeah. You were were you here and I was just like giving a room tour? Um, no, I, you were completely black for me. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, I, I couldn't see anything. That was weird, man. Yeah, that was weird. What's up? Good morning, dude. Morning. What's, I, we, um, yeah, now we we're both in our respective houses, um, and, uh, we just, like, wanted to talk about it. I'm gonna bring in Ohm after Malcolm and I talk, but, um... Yeah, we've just been making music, and we did, um, we, like, met Ohm a while ago, um, and, uh, we think they're obviously, like, incredible, and we saw them, uh, I think originally, I'd met Seema and M- Macy earlier, but I think we, um, we both met them for the fr- actually, no, I think we both met them for the first time in Seattle, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and, at Peaks Post Animal Ohm Show. Yeah, which was incredible. And but, then, um, and we just kind of um, became friends with them afterwards. Um, and then, yeah, and then we were talking about doing this. And so Ohm has a new, I think one of their songs is brand new. Um, yeah, um, aren't I feel like both of them are are on this vinyl are just originals. Yeah, that are just new. Um and, and they're then, Yeah, and they're incredible and um and then our side we just did Loved One and Smoke Bomb, which are two singles that we put out in the last year. Um and they got some cool colors and stuff. We're really we're really excited. 
because anything where like we have our own like you can actually touch like our own music is so cool like malcolm and i love that Mm -hmm. this is the first uh vinyl that we're putting out as aubrey's yeah and they're there it's also limited release too i think there's only like 500 of them on our side um and then yeah. you could buy through Ohm. Ohm is um, you can go to Ohm's account to buy. I know. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, so yeah, we're just super excited. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, what you know, we're gonna we've been just writing and doing a bunch of stuff. So hopefully, some songs will come. New songs will come to you guys soon through us. Who knows with the COVIDs. Who knows with the COVIDs? I know it's so weird, um, but stuff should be coming out soon. Um, and uh, we're we're just planning accordingly. We have a bunch of songs. We're planning accordingly to um, uh, record our album. We just um, don't know when, but it should be in the next few months. Um, hopefully. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. What? We said hopefully at the same time. We yeah. Said, Jinx. <laughs> yeah, we start screaming. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like... <laughs> jinx, jinx, jinx. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we, um, okay, well, I'm going to, Malcolm, I'm going to cut you off because you can't do three people at once. Um, really? You're going to bring me out so soon? You want to keep talking? I, I doesn't matter. We can answer. We can actually. You know what? No, we can answer some questions before Own comes in. Yeah, okay. actually. Um, I'm gonna look. Let's see. Holy. Poggers. Pog. Dude, yeah, we got a new album coming out. It's called Poggers. So. Pog breeze. It's called. It's called the Pog. Yeah, we're called the Pog breeze. So. Um. Let's see what else we got here. We got a lot of spam questions. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Favorite country. <laughs> I feel like that's, that's I, I feel like if we answer that, that's a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah. all the other countries. Oh, here we go. Here's a good. Okay. How did you record and mix those drums? I guess well I guess we can talk about on Loved One and on uh on Smoke Bomb. Yeah. It's funny it that we have a little cheat. We have a cheat on Loved One. Um Yeah, no. I think that's a loop. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Andrew our um amazing one of our amazing like producers and mixers who we've known for a long time he did the calpurnia ep um with um katie and colin and uh so we we recorded just everything on our own like di uh, like direct input and then we sent it to andrew um and we did a, like little mixes ourselves the first thing we actually did was we we did a like an ep and put it out on Bandcamp, and just didn't tell anyone. And um, we mixed it all of our all ourselves. And then once people started kind of noticing it and buying it, um, then we were like, okay, let's make these actually sound like better and um, yeah, good. So then we sent them to Andrew. Mm. Well, it's, um, it's funny because uh, we loved one and Smoke Bomb are the only ones where we didn't do the drums ourselves because like smoke bomb you uh we did like a little recording here in my basement and you were actually playing the drums on that one yeah and it's so i know in both of them it's like the first time where malcolm like wasn't fully i mean obviously like live like in our we've played live streams for malcolm um like obviously malcolm can play anything but he so he played um the loved one thing he plays the loved one thing a lot but yeah that's a loop and then what we did on and then he mixed those andrew mixes and then what we did on smoke bomb was i malcolm played bass 
Um, and then I played drums on that one. And then I think we recorded it on like just an overhead and then like a 57 on the, under the, um, uh, the hi-hat or whatever, you know, towards the snare. Mm -hmm. And I think what we did was, um, I recorded that and then we sent it to Adam Thien and Joe Keery, um, who Adam Thien is like Joe's right hand man. They did, um, 2020 together, which is Joe's album. So they mixed that. And I think they added, they triggered some snare sounds on top of um, my drum just to make it sound chunkier. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how we got those drum sounds. But um, like everything else, I mean, um, what's called like on Brother, that's literally just 157 on um, like on the snare and the hi-hat. Um, and then we have another song that's coming out. I don't know when called sand in my bed, which is like Malcolm just did that and just did super open drums with like, th it's funny. Like the more we started like recording and, and learning how to mix ourselves, like the more gear we've kind of like acquired and gotten. Yeah. So, like, like Malcolm's sweet basement, like has some cool drum stuff. Um, and like good, like Malcolm, like got some good overheads and, Mm -hmm. And we're also like getting our repertoire um, of knowledge of mixing and uh, recording is becoming way better because like um, and throughout like every single single release, I feel like it's just getting way better. Yeah, for sure. I like, yeah, we're just happy that like the the longer time goes, like the better our music gets and also the better like our, I feel like the better our mixing and everything gets because what think what we've done so far is like i think like and also with covid and the pandemic like we've had time to like really sit down and like figure out stuff mm -hmm. um like really sit down on our on our daws and like figure out mixing and like not that we haven't figured out at all but yeah. like we figured it out a little we figured it out like a tiny bit more you know oh my nail's so long right here um we've figured it out like a little bit um more um yeah and we've just been playing around with it like that's the most fun we've had like it's the most fun we've had because now like with it, it's just me and you you know what i mean it's just me and malcolm so like we are having like just like a lot of fun like you know what i mean like there's there's no like we don't have like a backing band or anything we don't have like producers really like we just record all of our music on our own and so it's like really freeing and awesome and we only do it when we want to like there's no like mm -hmm. label or anyone that's telling us to to that there's a time crunch or anything it's like been super like it's what music should be you know that's the Aubrey's experience it's the Aubrey's experience you do it yourself but I mean not everything is ourselves we have like amazing people helping us and um like we're, we're on um we released through something called a wall who's like incredible and i've have only been amazing and they've been like helping us get our stuff out and on the playlists and um so that's been great but i mean everything else is completely on our own so and we're really lucky to have that um and um we're having a lot of fun. So as uh, time keeps going, you'll see a lot more of us, um, hopefully. Uh, well, but yeah. All right. Um, I'll probably bring in... Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Talk to you soon. Love you. Bye, everyone. Bye. See ya. Now that he's gone... Let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. How's it going? Good. 
Happy release day. Happy release day. Someone just commented, Finn, have you showered yet? And I, you can't, I, you will never know. Who, who showers anymore? Who, sh who, who even does that? That is true. You know what's really gross um, is that, like, for a long time, you could just get away with not showering because no one would be around you. I know. It was, it was true. I shower now to pass time, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I shower more than I ever have before. <laughs> I shower. Someone told me that they, like, um, started putting their phone in a plastic bag so that they go into the shower to pass time and, like, watch movies. That made me really sad. I know. It's so sad. <laughs> It's so sad. What's up? Have... Are you guys, are you in Seema, are you in your place or Macy's? Yeah, we're in my place right now. We're um, hanging out, drinking coffee, hanging out with, I got a new puppy. Oh! Katie just got a new puppy too. I know, Katie and, we're all dogging up. We're I know, I, I really got a dog up right now. Oh, nice. oh, she just knocked over one of my plants. See, dog, yeah. <laughs> dog. What you getting into? um Can you yeah do we're it? good we're good we're uh congratulations on having some vinyl to i know we're so excited it's so things. cool yeah we're like it's 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 cool to like and that they're oh so sweet <laughs> um but uh yeah we're we're excited wait so is are you guys did you guys do that release through are you guys uh did I see that you guys are on Sub Pop now? Or did you guys just do a release through Sub Pop? No, that was a singles club release. Right. Them. So we're, our record label is Joyful Noise that put out Fantasize Your Ghosts. And then right. you did a single with Sub Pop. And... Yeah, it seems like people are starting to do that now because a few years ago also Polyvinyl did that um, single series and Twin Peaks did a few songs for them. Mm -hmm. Which is cool. You can kind of... Yeah. This dog is a spaz. Yeah, she's a she's a pup. She's, she's a... teething right now. So, but... so both the songs on the record are new, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, did you guys? Where did you guys record that? Was that all home recording? Here. We, yeah, we yeah. recorded it at SEMA's, and then we sent it off to Eric Slick to do drums for the tracks, actually, which is really cool because he's someone that we we've been friends with on the internet. <laughs> oh, and cool. We met him like a couple times in real life yeah. too, but we we just like. Yeah, it was fun to to send to him and have someone do mm -hmm. drums. He plays drums with Dr. Dog. And oh, sweet. Oh, that with, is like, the coolest band ever. Yeah, they're so good. And uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, you know, like COVID is obviously a huge hindrance to like playing music, playing live music, but yeah. it creates opportunities where you get to like record with people. And collaborate and with other people that you might you not wouldn't have. They're somewhere else, you know. Yeah, that, like, that, well, that, that sounds also pretty similar to our thing, too, is because we just kind of record <laughs> and then send it off to people that we, you know, like, look at this dog. What's, what's the dog's name? Her name is Arpy. She's RP. four old. She's a rescue. And oh, my God. Her auntie makes me so that. much. I know. She's really, she's a total spaz. <laughs> okay. All right, Arpy. <laughs> Right. <laughs> being right now, so. yes all right we're gonna let her go and, and focus. no i, I no, <laughs> yeah ready. let her go in Rome. <laughs> which do you guys do you have a space like in your house yeah so we have a recording studio downstairs which is where we've made almost all of our records we like fantasize your ghost we packed up a lot so dorian who has like engineered all of our stuff he helped us rebuild the studio in this barn that is owned by some family friends of mine. Um, and so, cause we wanted, we just wanted to like get out of the city and like be yeah. a little disconnected and like really be able to just, I don't know, like it was nice. We had like the big barn door open and yeah. just playing out. And then um, Chris Cohen, who's like really awesome musician who actually Colin Croom turned us on. Oh to. yeah. Right. Oh cool. Um, he came out for a week and helped us like, make all the basic tracks and then we finished it up here at our studio so, so you went to you went to a family friend's barn kind of built your own studio and then came back and mm -hmm. re okay that's yeah and then yeah dave dave the trainer mixed it yeah and we like it was it was crazy it's kind of ironic because when we made the record we were touring so much like 
I mean, the last time we saw you was last time we played on the West Coast with Twin Peaks. Yeah. So fun, but. We had been on tour for probably like two years straight. Yeah. Three years straight. And, you know, now there's no more tour, so. I know, it's crazy. Like, it, you guys, I think at that point, like, yeah, you, and also even with, I mean, you guys were also, um, what's it called? I mean, but see, on top of that, like, Macy, you were doing lots of stuff with like arranging music and like um strings and then oh, Sima yeah. was also on the road with Tweety. So like I feel like you guys really with Ohm you guys have been on the road for two years. But like on top of that, you guys have been on the road for more like five years. Like you had Macy, yeah, well, Macy, Macy for like, like eight I was seventeen. Years. Yeah. Right. So yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's but, like yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. Yeah. But I just I yeah, but continuously like it's it's like mm -hmm. so now it's it's really weird like it, even with Malcolm and I like we've had a lot of time to just sit down and be like what kind of music do we want to make like we've never had that conversation of just like like you know like really talking about like really like just sitting down and like instead of like our music is like pretty spur of the moment but we've had times where we just sit down and we're like we should try something completely different where we never do anything like, so we have songs that we've written that like, are just going to come out on our album that like are completely different from the songs that we put out. Um, because we've just had time to just say like, you know, like let's try something different. Like, whereas mm -hmm. it wouldn't have happened unless, I mean, this horrible pandemic wouldn't have happened. It's really weird. Yeah. No, I mean, I think that's great. I don't ever think like you should like box yourself in. And that is that has been like a nice thing about this is that since we've had so much time to produce and actually finish like ideas, like we've had time to just kind of go back to the studio and like s completely start from scratch. We are like really want to make some some dance music. We want to like. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what's so that's what I loved about Fantasize Your Ghost, though, is that it was like super dark like that's like i mean like if i'm totally off base here let me know but like whereas like you had a super poppy not poppy but like you had you had a hit you know like obviously you had a hit on this one like i think selling candy is a perfect song but i think um with icon like that's like a that's like a you know fun bop hit whereas like this album with fantasize your ghost you guys like went kind of darker and like uh like avant-garde almost mm -hmm. and it shows that you guys just don't like just want to do just want to write what you guys wanted you know yeah right yeah definitely always only trying to make what we want to make i think i like yeah i mean that's that's what you got to do if you're creating just yeah just that you want to make and be true to what you're intending to do um, yeah and it's more fun to kind of switch it up anyway <laughs> yeah exactly Espe yeah. especially when you're in a band it's also it's fun like being in a band with one other person is pretty awesome yeah yeah compared to being in a band with with eight other people <laughs> I've, I've continued yeah you've done it before <laughs> yeah, i know I, over time having a partner in it is like pretty awesome it's, it's pretty incredible like it's it's like really like um and not to throw shade at like any other band that I've been in where I'm in like another band with people. Cause I've also grown up in like a bunch of different bands and like written music with a bunch of different people. Um, and like, but there's something said about just having an, just another person that you've known for a long time, just to lean on. And like, that's that, like there's only one conversation there, you know? Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, if you had a bunch of other people, it would be, you know, five other conversations, six other conversations, and that could be great. But yeah, the, I, mean, I mean, you know, to make direct. to make really authentic music, often it's all it's a challenge to collaborate with people, right? Like, sometimes the most authentic stuff is just going to come right out of you and like a part of you that you may not even know, like, or be familiar with, and so to actually be able to to like take that out of yourself enough to introduce that 
whatever that is that secret sauce to someone else <laughs> and be able to collaborate through that is really special. And I think it, you know, I mean, you and Malcolm have, I don't know, how long have you known each other forever? I, I was, yeah, I was going to ask how long you guys know each other. We've known each other. Well, we're both 18 now, or I'm about to be 18. We've known each other since we were like 11. So, yeah, that's awesome. pretty, pretty like long time. What about you guys? Yeah, we've known each other at least 10 years. We, yeah, we went to the years. same high school. Um, mm -hmm. And I was in a band with her younger brother. Right. Um, when she came back. And right. Liam, Liam has a Liam has a single yeah. out today. Yeah, Liam's Liam's new video. Yeah, Liam Kazar. He's got a new a new tune. Liam now. Kazar. Everyone, go check it out. Yeah. Um, but that's yeah. I think it's usually like, and and I know people that are incredible at music, but it's harder for them to collaborate. But I think that's like the best thing about music like i like there wouldn't be anything really special about it if it was like a hundred percent yours constantly you know like you even if it's a like even if i'm writing a song completely on my own i still need someone else to listen to it to like be like oh this is fine you know this is good mm -hmm. yeah and i think i mean i think collaboration is kind of key to making anything i don't know i don't think anyone has ever created anything in a vacuum <laughs> no um, so, you know, it's, I think it's a beautiful thing that really needs to be explored because it's going to sound different with a different person and you're going to have different parts of yourself come out. Um, yeah. And who you're working with, so. Yeah, and, uh, like, that's also, Malcolm and I also, like, we haven't played live in a real, like, we haven't played live in a year. We just toured for, like, a year and a half straight and then um it was super hard with my work schedule and then we stopped mm -hmm. and then now it's just the two of us and we have like uh you know a lot we we have a like a cool deal like you know with each other it's not like um we don't have anyone um telling us that we have to tour you know um yeah. so we just are booking shows whenever we want to yeah which is like the way it should be um if, and if it was a city or a venue that you could play at right now, where would it be? Um, oh my god. Um, I d probably in Chicago, like probably at Talia Hall. Yeah. Or like, there's so many like places. Like, I I haven't played in Chicago before, but like from videos that I've seen over the years, like there's so many places that I just like want to play in Chicago, like. Like, um, yeah, in Lincoln Hall too. Like that. Like, there's so many. Mm -hmm. I'm Lincoln Hall's a real venue, right? I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. Um, I was just like, okay. Um, but yeah, that and like, I don't know. I I'd love to play Red Rocks. Like Red Rocks is like the venue. Like I like if I were to play any venue, it'd be Red Rocks. We went hiking there, right? We did, yeah. Last time we, we or a couple Red times ago when we played Denver, mm -hmm. we hiked around there, but we've never played there. Yeah. One day we will. <laughs> Twin Peaks opened there, open for um, what are they? Uh, not Cage the Elephant. Um, who's the okay. who's the band that did uh, that like super huge hit? They're great. Oh. Uh, uh, not Boston. Um, mm -mm. Starts with a P, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Portugal, Portugal, the man. Portugal, the man. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so they they opened there, and the pictures like looked incredible. I was like, oh my god. What about you guys? Um, let's see. I would love to play. Do you miss any particular venues? We were talking about missing New Orleans. Yeah, a lot. I think I miss. Yeah, I just I miss the I miss the people that we see. <laughs> Yeah. Whenever we're traveling, you know, and kind of having a place that's like a central location for everyone to. I miss Montreal. Montreal. Be mostly because Montreal of the bagels. But yeah. Oh, yeah. The because of the, the smoked meats. New Orleans, Montreal. Yeah. I, think I miss, uh, I miss I Seattle, like any, any Pacific Northwest city. Like we have so much fun in like, yeah, we played, it was incredible. Like we paid, we played, um, the Fillmore in, in San Francisco and like that was like in like that was like the most fun ever and um it was like the most amazing venue and like so much history and we played the Neptune in in Seattle played, and like I played the Fillmore in um with with Tweety like four or five years ago 
and I got I had like fallen out of the tour bus and <laughs> split my head open and I got my stitches removed backstage at the Fillmore. <laughs> that is so cool. It also sucks so bad. Oh no, it was fine. I made it, you know. It's You fell out it's... of the tour bus? What you just like slipped on the stair? <laughs> I fell out of Spencer one of the tour threw bus. you out. Yeah, Spencer threw me off of one tour bus into the other tour bus. Now I just, you know, Seattle is wet and rainy, as you well know. Mm-hmm. And I like stepped. I was wearing cowboy boots, and I stepped onto a, like a when I stepped off the tour bus onto like a little bump or something, and I just slid right into the other tour bus. And ouch! Not fun. Yeah. Well. You know, right. yeah, we're, we're, I mean, I, I hope like, you know, live music will prevail later next year. And yeah. um, I know like festivals are starting to like plan and I don't know. I, I hope everything works out. Um, I, I think by, by this time next year, I hope that the world will, will have like bandaged a little bit. I hope um, so too. I think I think it will. I think like we there's like a good good shot. People yeah. are uh you know, there's vaccines going. Some vaccines. There's some, some hope. vaccines. There's, there's some vaccines, hope. You know? We got well, we have hope, which is good. Yeah. And we have yeah. music. There's gonna be so much there's like people are gonna be performing like five records that they put out during I know, the- that's the it's amazing. <laughs> And people it's- have different stuff. I know, and and yeah, everyone will find ways to do. You know, like we're we're ex- we're really excited um, to just start. Like, especially like we just want to release our album so bad, and we've had so many songs, and like we have like thirty songs that yeah. we just like are really excited to. What's called like me and like we have like a kind of dream team. Like we have it's like me malcolm katie and colin andrew like um just together and so you know like it's one of those things where we're just like figuring out with my work schedule like it's really it's all up to kind of like where i'll be so like you know it could be like a bunch it could be in chicago it could be Mm -hmm. like texas or you know what i mean like it could be so many places so that's great we're we're just excited but what about you guys are you guys working on another album we're starting to record some we're doing like a lot of video collaborations like with other with James yeah James. i saw that that where i saw that what's it called the that album yeah, thing yeah we have a thing coming out today um tethered right this coming up out wednesday wednesday yeah um i think we're aren't they splitting the videos and then but they're doing one today tomorrow and then wednesday. maybe that's wrong anyway but we have a collaboration with tethered which is like um really yeah. awesome dance and music collaboration thing um, oh sweet yeah and then we're starting to write and like play some new music so starting to make it's some gonna things, be but yeah doing a lot of stuff on our own too and just trying to keep creative and we're we're gonna be painting a lot of backgammon sets over the next oh. couple of we've been making these little backgammon backgammon and bananagrams i would say are probably our fav- favorite, favorite road games so yeah damn i uh what was the i played a board game for the first time uh what is it it was um oh what was it called i can't remember i i literally this is this is like it's come to the point where in quarantine you're like what was that board game I played? And you can't even remember that. <laughs> like, I've never played backgammon before. It's, it's a, a good game. It's a really good game. I'll find the I'll find the name of the board game I was playing before. Yes. But we've I've been playing um me and Andrew and Colin and uh and Malcolm and Katie and I had a game night a few months ago and we all played uh like Uno, but we played like um we played it online. Like Andrew was like, "Hey, here's this link to this to this thing online," and it was like a German ripoff version of Uno. <laughs> and we were like all doing it, and everything was in German, so we were all just like, we were all just saying like, 
like reverse in like reverse order in German. It was really great. That's fun. We'll all do that. Yeah, for sure. We should do. We should do a game night. It'd be really fun. We should. We've been doing some virtual settlers of Catan. Yeah, I play. Settlers. That's what it was, Catan. For <laughs> bed. Catan. That's what I played. That's what. Okay, that's the name I was trying to get. I was like, what is it? It's Catan. I played Catan for the first time. Yeah. It's the best game ever. Yeah, we taught. We taught. Uh, we played it on tour with Clay and Lily. Right. We taught Clay how to play. Catan. I just talked to Clay on the phone for like two hours straight. He's how? good. I just talked to Clay on the phone for like two hours straight. What a guy. Best guy in Indiana. Doesn't <laughs> doesn't know uh, where he is. Um, but, you know, I mean, he knows where he is, but, you know, he doesn't know. He's 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 with the wind. Exactly. Yes, yes, he is. The man is with the wind. He's got some cool songs. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah they sound really nice. Yeah. I'm excited. OK, well, we. um. Have a vinyl out. We have a vinyl out. You can go to Ohms. Yeah. Oh, beautiful artwork. By yeah. Malcolm himself. Yeah. Yeah, and we have some copies on our band camp. And um, y'all have some copies. Y'all have some copies. We're donating a lot of our proceeds, proceeds to Quidigs, which yes. is an amazing uh, humanitarian. Ar yeah. mm -hmm. Armenian humanitarian. Humanitarian relief. I'm Armenian, so go on there yeah. and, then... and then the other half is going to the chicago community jail support which is a really amazing volunteer run mutual aid group in chicago that sets up shop outside of cook county jail yes so that'll be on your guys band camp yeah mm -hmm. okay so if you go to ohms is it at ohm music uh, yeah or ohm yeah i think it's ohm, ohm, ohm music, music dot band band camp. Camp. yeah okay it's so it's it'll, it, yeah it'll be on your instagram and then ours mm -hmm. is in our in our bio but um yeah i mean congrats. yeah congrats guys i love you guys thank you so much love for doing you. this so good to see you so good to see you too let's like do an actual game night soon yeah that sounds good okay bye everybody thanks for tuning yeah. in